What's going on guys, Sticks here with the Token Minorities bringing you another deck on Pokemon TCGO and today I am bringing you a legacy deck centered around the combination of Darkrai EX and Mewtwo EX and before I get into the deck just a reminder that if you guys like this video or found it helpful please leave a like, drop a comment, click that subscribe button, it helps us out a ton and lets us do more cool stuff for you guys and as for the question of the day, I haven't done this in a while so I'm just going to do it now. How have you guys been? Uh, what's been going on with you since I last asked this question? And do you have anything exciting coming up? For me, it is honestly, like, I, I say this over and over, but it is just exams, exams, and more exams. Like, every week at this point is an exam that I have to study for. So, I mean, it's it's a true grind, like a real, real grind, which is not fun. But it's something, like, that's... I mean, if I'm going to become a doctor, I have to get used to this, and I have to learn a ton of information. So it's like, I, I, can, I can handle it, and it's something that I've expected, and I've just been kind of like... I've like resided myself to the fact that this is how it's going to be, but that doesn't necessarily make it easy. But yeah, that's what's going on with me. Let me know what's going on with you guys in the comic sec comments section down below. Love to hear what's going on. And also, feel free to check out the Discord server that myself and Under the Radar have come to make, and Johnny as well. He's another buddy of mine that I forgot to mention the first time. And also, maybe Orbom might be making an appearance in it. I don't know. He's... He kind of does his own thing and he already has a server, so I mean, I don't blame him, but maybe he might be making an appearance, but either way, check that out. There will be a link in the description. And also, before I get into the deck, I just want to give a quick little background to what this is. So when we get into the matches, you will see that the formatting of the TCG, like the animation and stuff like that, are not what's on the current server. And I'll be honest, I... Okay, so I'm starting from the beginning. Like, I had... A little bit of time this weekend heaven forbid I actually had some time so I was doing a little bit of like I guess fall winter cleaning like going through my uh, folders on my external hard drive getting rid of old videos and stuff that I don't need anymore and I found my legacy backlog from this that I started making this summer basically when I had extra time I would just start recording matches with legacy decks that way if I got busy I could just pull from the backlog and find them and have some content available and I was looking, and I found this and another deck that I'm going to be doing in a little bit. And I was like, wait, I, really? I, I still have this? That's awesome. So, uh, I mean, I'm honestly not sure how old this is. I mean, look, I was looking through the matches, and it looked like the rewards wheel was somewhat up to date, but not like the... So, like, the rewards were up to date, but the uh, match summary was not. So honestly, I have no idea how old this is, but I was looking through and I was like, you know what, these are some pretty good matches and this is a very fun deck. So I decided to show it anyway. And uh, yeah, so basically this deck is centered around the combination of Darkrai EX and Mewtwo. Basically Darkrai, you guys know what this does at this point. Dark Cloak gives Pokemon with Dark Energy free retreat. Night Spear 90 and 30 to a bench and then 180 HP as a dark type. So just a very, very strong attacker that unfortunately, well, a very, very strong Pokemon that unfortunately is not as good in the legacy format because of things like Genesect, TDK, Weavile, Eggs. Like, things hit harder than Darkrai. Darkrai struggles to keep up. But it's still a deck that I kind of have a soft spot for just because it's a very fun deck to just pick up and play if you have some extra time. So, yeah, here's this deck. And then Mewtwo is just always a very good backup attacker. Uh, as for the Pokemon running one Smeargle for Portrait, just be able to uh, extend out your turn a little bit with the combination of Free Retreating with Dark Cloak and then also Rushing Retreat with Keldeo. You're able to uh, bring up Smeargle relatively easy and also take it out of the active spot without attaching energy to it. Or you can just Portrait till you die, just gives you more explosive turns. Absol as a non-EX attacker, that way we don't automatically lose to Safeguard, Sigilyph, and Suicune. Four Darkrai because main attacker of the deck. We want to have the max number of those possible. One Sableye because you don't run Dark decks without running at least a copy of Sableye. That's just not what you do. And then if you're able to like start with Smeargle, Portrait, use some uh, Dark Patches, Hypnotoxic Lasers, something like that. Rush in and retreat with Keldeo into Sableye, who's able to Junk Hunt those Dark Patches back. You're basically just able to have more explosive first and second turns. Uh, because of the combination of Sableye and Kel just basically Sableye is good late early is good early mid and late game I can't talk right now uh, so it's just a very good in any good thing in any dark deck to Mewtwo I skipped over Pokemon I know I'll come right back to that because X Ball you can just load up a ton of energy on Mewtwo and be able to Oko something that Darkrai maybe can't or just finish off knockouts or pick off weak stuff 
uh, with just a DCE, and then Keldeo for that rush in retreat. And finally, the thing that makes this deck actually work really well is Celebration Wind Shaman. Uh, once during your turn, when you put Shaman from your hand onto your bench, you may move as many energy cards attached to your Pokemon as you like to any of your other Pokemon. Now, Darkrai is very, very bulky uh, with, well, it's the bulkiest of EXs in the Legacy format, apart from Waylord, I think, uh, with 180 HP. Uh, being able to just take hits very well and be more difficult to take down, but it also has a very specific Night Spear uh, attack cost with two Dark and a Colorless. So Shaman is able to like let Darkrai take a hit, move all your energy around, or just have energy on the board just spread out, play down Shaman, move it to where you like, and then all of a sudden you have just new attackers powered up. It's a very, very strong play that I hope I'm going to be able to show off in this deck. As for the items, we have two Bicycles just to have like item draw be able to uh, extend out our turns, have more explosive turns. Computer Search as the A spec of choice because we also like discarding Darkness Energy due to Dark Patch. For Dark Patch, to be able to attach energy as consistently and quickly as possible. For Dual Ball, because everything in this deck is a basic Pokemon, so our search is for Dual Ball. I would run six, but unfortunately we don't have that none. Also, Ultra Ball, you can run that with, with relative impunity because you still like discarding Dark uh, with Computer Search and Junk Arm. All of those discard dark into the discard pile. That way you can have a dark patch active as quickly as possible. Uh, three Hypnotoxic Laser, because Darkrai and Mewtwo in themselves don't do an insane amount of damage. So you're relying on like two, three hit knockouts. Uh, Hypnotoxic Laser and Verbank can change the damage and also put some very put yourself in some very good positions with that for Junk Arm to be able to discard darkness and reuse stuff. One uh, Pokemon Reversal because I like being able to be like, you know what, you can't just play that onto your bench without having to worry about it at all. So uh, yeah, I like, I just like having one Reversal as an option. Two Random Receivers so that Junk Arms can turn into uh, Supporters. One Tool Scrapper so that we can turn off things like Garbatox and get rid of uh, Silver Bangles, Float Stones, stuff like that, and Life Dues. Uh, spoilers. Uh, <laughs> able to get rid of those. And then as for the supporters, 432 of Juniper, Oak, and or Juniper, Oak, and N. Just Juniper is the strongest draw support in this deck, and you actually don't mind discarding stuff. You actually kind of like it because it either thins out the deck or gets energy in the discard pile uh, or items in the discard pile for Tool Scrapper to grab later. Or Junk Arm, sorry, not Tool Scrapper. Uh, three Oak and then two N just as Shuffle Draw. Absolute max number of DCEs so that we can power up Mewtwo as quickly as possible. And then eight Darkness Energy for, to power up the rest of our deck. So... Yeah, pretty, eh, just run through the deck. It's pretty basic to use, but you can do some very intricate plays with it, which I'm hoping to show off. So yeah, that's the deck, and let's just go ahead and see it in action. Alrighty, we have found one against uh, your weeb friend with a Grass Dark and Psychic deck, so it's safe to say that I have absolutely no idea what my opponent is running. So uh, we do win the coin flip, meaning we will go first, and we will want to go first. I mean, this deck tan can technically attack first turn but you'd rather not do that because you know reasons and stuff uh, so I start off with actually a very nice hand I can potentially get a Mewtwo out I can get uh yeah I can get a Mewtwo out basically is what I'm saying put a DC on it get a uh, Verbank out there and I actually even draw into the Mewtwo so that's even nicer uh, let's play down the Verbank go ahead and go for the dual ball see what we can get and we actually get two heads off of that so I'm going to grab a Keldeo and a Darkrai to be able to play both of those down. That way I have one Darkrai that I can power up with like Dark Patch. Then I have a Keldeo that I can use to get Free Retreat. And then I whiff on both on the second Dual Ball, which is just just as well because I already had a uh, decent... I already had it... Uh, I got two heads with the first one. Sorry, I'm like having trouble talking right now. Then I am just going to go for the Hypnotoxic Laser right there. See what I can get off this. And I get a Juniper, so that actually can work out well but on the bright side I did go ahead and poison this Sableye which is going to put it in range 100% of X-Ball next turn even if he does enhanced hammer away my DCE I still have another DCE in my hand although granted I have to get the Darkrai out of the active spot but that shouldn't be that shouldn't be too overly difficult to be honest um so we see the Sableye, but I'm wondering what else my opponent is running. I'm hoping that this is not Hammer Time because, you know, that would make me very sad if this was Hammer Time. And it's Tool Drop with Sableye. So that's kind of... Ah, no, there's the Crushing Hammer. We see it. Please do not get heads. Oh, thank the Lord. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Not the Crushing Hammers, guys. Anything but the Crushing Hammers. You know how much I rage. Oh, okay. We're good. We're okay. And then the Catcher. 
Actually, please get heads on this catcher, because that actually worked out well. For Dang it. He did not get heads on the catcher. I actually would have liked if he did, and he puts the, uh... Puts the energy onto the Trubbish, that means Sableye is not going to be able to Junk Hunt for the Crushing Hammer. That is very nice for me. And there we go. I get... Yeah, I get a Darkness Energy that I can throw into the discard pile with Junk Arm and be able to Dark Patch that later. I can Computer Search for something as well. So basically, I just have a very good hand right now. Get a Reversal. Um, hmm. Do I want to go for that, actually? Because that might be nice to bring Trubbish up and just immediately knock it out. But what I can do is computer search, get rid of a darkness and the reversal. I'm just not going to bother with it this turn. Grab, grab a dark patch, I think. Yeah, Juniper is in the deck. So there is a darkness in there. I think I'm just going to grab a dark patch. That way I can slowly power up Darkrai. And then let's Junk Arm for the random receiver. This way I have a supporter for this turn. And then hopefully I can get a Juniper and not an N. Of course I get an N. Um, but what I can do is just play the energy onto the Keldeo. I mean, I, do I want to N? That's the question. I don't know. I think... I'm not going to put my Mewtwo in jeopardy of being knocked out by Tool Drop. So I am just going to end the turn right there. Let my Darkrai without any energy take the hit from the Trubbish. Because, I mean, with the Poison, this turn I was getting a prize anyway, and so I decided not to put up my Mewtwo, which can get knocked out, uh, potentially in one hit if he gets a couple more tools on board with the tool drop. And I'm just kind of banking on the fact that he does not have another supporter, and apparently he does not. So we are able to win the game right there. Uh, really didn't do any damage, but still able to pull away, and Mewtwo just, I mean... <laughs> Basically showed exactly what this deck does. You put energy on Mewtwo and then power up Darkrai in the back and you just deal with whatever's in front of you and you can snipe stuff on the bench too. So that was a pretty solid start and uh, let's go ahead and find another one with this deck. Alrighty, we have found another one against a Jandor with what looks like a Plasma deck. So this should be interesting to say the least. Oh, we do win the coin flip fortunately, so we will get to go first because that is always nice. And uh, what's even nicer is when we're able to start off with a Pokemon, so I'm really kind of hoping that that's the case. And this is Weavile, but we didn't see the eggs. Maybe that was just hidden in the obscurity of something. And I uh, start off with a Darkrai and actually a hand that I can definitely work with. Um, so I'll be able to get a Darkrai, and Darkrai, I think, is going to have to be my main attacker this game. Uh, if it's like a 30... Is it? No, it's not. That's ah, a good Sneasel. Darn it. Um, so, unfortunately, my opponent is being smart and using the good Sneasel. I mean, who actually uses good Pokemon? Like, let's be real. Come on, guys. Uh, so, I am just going to Dual Ball for a Darkrai. Ultra Ball, get rid of the Oak and the Tool Scrapper to grab a Keldeo. I think I'm just going to be going with uh, Darkrai this game to try to... Well, to be able to one-shot Weaviles while also sniping things on the bench. Just racking up damage, potentially... Uh, you know what? I am just going to go for the sleep right there because I'd be discarding the uh, I'd be discarding it anyway. And ooh, this is nice. So what I can do is Verbank and Junk Arm. Get rid of Verbank and a let's get rid of the reversal to grab a Dual Ball just to go for a little bit more. See if I can get like. Uh, dark patch or something like that and I do hit two heads and my opponent just scoops well I mean to be fair we had a good first turn but it wasn't like insane or anything like that it was just a good first turn and yeah my opponent ended up scooping so I would have been curious to see how the Weavile Darkrai matchup played out but unfortunately we do not get to see that and uh, let's go ahead and try to find another one Alrighty, we have found another one against a Marcos, and uh, looks like we are up against a Ray Eels deck, and this is going to be a very interesting matchup, because Darkrai, if I can get a, like, turn... Okay, if I can get a turn 1 or turn 2 Night Spear, then I will just absolutely outspeed him and be able to uh, just knock out his stuff. And if I'm not able to, then this is going to be a very, very interesting matchup, because the early game is heavily in my favor, but the late game is ridiculously in his favor. Just being able to set up a bunch of stuff. And Absol is there. That's going to be... That's going to be definitely necessary 
at one point or another because they do tend to load up the bench and with poison plus eh, not silver bank ah darn it so this is gonna be yeah this is just gonna be a very tough matchup um but i mean we're still gonna go for it obviously because this is this could be this is going to be a good game, but if I can take out the Tynamos, if I can take out the Tynamos and Electrics, I'll just win, like plain and simple. That's how it's going to work. So what I'm going to do right here is Ultra Ball, get rid of both, get rid of two Darkness Energy. That way I have that for, uh, that way I have those in the discard pile for later. That way I can Dark Patch. I'm going to grab, let's do this. Um, and then I'm manually retreating into my Smeargle because what I can do right here is immediately just Dark Patch onto the Absol. And then I'm going to Junk Arm, just kind of just kind of hope that my opponent has a supporter of some kind. And yeah, I get rid of two Junk Arms early, but I do have Absol completely powered up. I have Smeargle active and I am four card Colrus. All right, please, please give me something good. Give me like a bike or something. Um, this actually works. And even though it's powering up my opponent's chorus, I'm going to play that down because I also get an oak, so I get a fresh hand as well. So, yeah, this works. And I'm just going to end my turn right there. I can Shaman next turn if I need to. I'm kind of bummed that I didn't get the combination of Laser Bank this turn uh, because what I... Hmm. If I'd gotten the right cards, I actually, with Shaman, could have pulled off a turn one Knight Spear, but unfortunately I did not get that. And, yeah, my opponent's now going to be able to get another... Uh-oh. So, yeah, this is where it's going to start to get very, very hairy for us because there's one... T oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. There's two... Uh. Oh, boy. This is going to be bad. This is going to be very, very, very bad. Um, but we'll see. I mean, if, if somehow we can take out the electrics, if we hit our reversals well and are able to Night Spear those things for the one-hit knockout and spread the damage around appropriately, like, we can win. Like, we definitely can. It's just that it's going to be very, very difficult because my opponent has two electrics up turn two, which, I mean, ask any ask any uh, Rayquaza player or Ray Eels player, like, if you told them that they'd get two Eels up turn two and have another Tynamo, they'd be like, yes, please, yes, 100%. I will do that every single time. And, okay, I get Mewtwo. Um, so let's go ahead... Junk Arm, get rid of both of these to grab Dark Patch. I mean, I'm, I'm, I know I'm running low on my... I'm actually out of my Junk Arms completely. So I'm going to have to be very careful of that. And I could... I can't quite knock out the Zekrom just yet. And I don't want to send up my Absol because Absol can actually do the most damage on my team to the Rayquaza. So I really don't want to uh, jeopardize that thing earlier than I have to. So I guess I am just going to end my turn right there. Um, make my opponent... Oh boy, please don't hit this catcher. Okay, good. Um, make my opponent knock... Uh, bleh, bring something up. And then there's the turn three electric. So this... Uh, honestly... Yeah, this is very near unwinnable at this point. Because, I mean, three electrics... Already got a fire on the Rayquaza. Like, the only thing that's going for us is my opponent doesn't have lightning in the discard pile. But I am I legitimately think that this matchup is pretty unwinnable at this point. Uh, just because my opponent... And now he got a 9-card Colrus. So, I mean, my opponent... Obviously, like, my opponent's playing immaculately. Like, he's playing everything right. He's getting everything that he wants when he wants it. I mean, he's just... My opponent is playing it very, very, very well. And I'm not even, like, remotely hinting otherwise and then we do see the life do as well so dragon burst will be able to knock out my smeargle and on the bright side we don't see the keldeo but all he has to do is just switch back and forth between uh Rayquazas. so i do have to take one out and then maybe just maybe i can get something going so i'm going to promote absol at this point because Rayquaza is up i just want to hit that thing as hard as possible maybe i can get a hypnotoxic laser which i do um so this is starting to this is doing something. This is definitely doing something. Um, I have a bunch of dual balls too, so side note on that. Uh, let's random receiver. That way I have that. I can get a Juniper for next turn. How do I want to play this? So laser, definitely want to do because that puts it in range of a um, of a Night Spear next turn from Darkrai. So let's go. Actually, you know what? If he if he retreats, it's in range of Night Spear. If he doesn't. 
and he just knocks me out, well, then Absol, like, I get a kill in the Rapaza coming back into my turn. I can throw a DCE onto my Mewtwo, and I will be in a decent spot. Um, unfortunately, I will have to try to fish out... Ah, there's my Tool Scrapper. Ah, whatever. Um, I will have to, uh, if I can Tool Scrapper off that life, dude, that would be gigantic, but unfortunately... Um, he goes for, I mean, I guess he's just thinning his deck. Like, my opponent is playing this very, very, very well. Like, I'm clearly up against a great player. And, yep, go, get, is able to counter. And then Juniper getting rid of, uh, even more lightning. That's not what I want to see. Uh, I don't want to see all that lightning in there because that means you can actually power stuff up. And he's, again, making the even smarter play of powering up Zekrom, not putting, uh, Rayquaza's in trouble when they don't need to so I mean honestly like the way my opponent got set up this matchup was pretty unwinnable but also the fact that my opponent is just playing this insanely smart like the only thing that I can hope for at this point is for my opponent to not make the correct plays for my opponent to make dumb plays that I can hopefully exploit but the fact that my opponent is playing this expertly is really bad is really bad for me like that's something that i really can't i really can't t handle too well but what i can do this turn um so we get that let's get another let's get sableye actually this gives me some junk arms back the uh tool scrapper is in the deck and so is the reversal so this is actually something i can potentially work with um i'm gonna start thinning at this point Yes, let's get both of those. Um, grab Mewtwo, I guess. Do I want to get Mewtwo? I think let's just grab Darkrai because I am going to discard all of this stuff. And I want to keep the other Mewtwo in the deck just in case. Um, I want to see if I can get the Dark Patches, which I do. So I will be able to pull off Darkrai this turn. That is... That's great because I will be able to knock out the Zekrom and take out his Rayquaza. But he does have another Rayquaza, which is going to be very difficult to deal with. However, um, at this point, this actually... Okay, so I was saying it, what this matchup is uh, virtually unwinnable, but this is... We drew perfect cards to get the opportunity to, and so I am going to get rid of that Floatstone on the Rayquaza and be able to uh, knock out this Zekrom. So I will be able to take three prizes this turn with a Night Spear and just hope, or the floatstone off the electric, sorry, and just hope that my opponent doesn't have, doesn't have like the, I mean, if he has a fire energy and then another floatstone, he's going to be able to knock out my Darkrai. But otherwise, um, let's see. So if I, with the cards in my hand, I actually think I'm in an okay spot because knocks out Darkrai, then that's, Okay, so he is going to grab the Floatstone. Good play. So he knocks out Darkrai. He still has a Fire Energy on his Rayquaza. That is 20. 40, 60, 80, 100 with the second DCE. If I Shaman, that's 120. If I... If I Poison it, then that's only 150. That's not quite... Ah, darn it. That's not quite enough. Yeah, this is... This is bad. And he's going to Skyla. Then the only way... If I can top deck a Dark Patch, I think I can knock out my opponent's Rayquaza. If I top deck a Dark Patch, I think. Um, or my Laser. So this is... Ooh, this is a troubling spot. This is a very troublesome spot. Um, so I'm sending up Mewtwo. I get random or see that's not what I needed. Ah! So let's Juniper, and then Computer Search, get rid of this. Actually, you know what? I can just Juniper. So the Shaman is there. So is the Laser and the Dark Patch. So I'm grabbing the Laser, because the Dark Patch will be in the deck. So what I need right now is I need to draw into Dark Patch and Shaman. That's what I need, and then I can knock out the Serquaza and potentially win the game. Oh, and, ah, wait, I need Verbank as well. Crap. So I need quite a few puzzle pieces. Um, I'm actually going to Ultra Ball, thin out the deck just a little bit more. Um, let's grab the Mewtwo because I don't need that, and then I'll be down to one. 
Am I gonna just barely miss out? No, I get the Verbank! Ooh, this is huge. This is huge, huge, huge. Holy crap. I might be able to pull this off. So, let's Dark Patch. And I just had to hope that my opponent doesn't have, like, Rayquaza Lightning Energy. Because if he does, then I lose. Um, then let's do this. This is gonna be enough energy to knock out my opponent's Rayquaza with Mewtwo. So this is actually good. This is actually very, very good. Um, and then I am gonna Dark Patch again onto Sableye, even though that really doesn't matter at this point. And then X-Ball. And I honestly just have to pray that my opponent doesn't have Rayquaza and uh, Fire. Because if he has both Rayquaza and a Fire Energy, I lose. Like, if he's, I mean, if he's just holding on to it, then I just lose, because there's nothing I can do about that if he's able to just slap it right down. There's the Rayquaza. Do we see the fire energy? Does he have it in his hand? He must, because he's going for the Dynamotors. So I think, yep, I think my opponent has it. Ah, darn it. So, despite the matchup being pretty unwinnable from turn two, we actually managed to make an incredible game out of it. And man, is he gonna... Yep, there's the fire. GG, dude. That was... That was honestly one heck of a game. Like, my opponent... I mean, like, we were able to take a bad matchup and turn it into a game where it came down to, to my opponent having to have it in their hand, and... I mean, they played it excellently. Like, they thinned their deck to put themselves in a position where they would draw that stuff later in the game or have the better opportunity to draw that. So, you know what? I mean, like... I, I, I hate to lose. Like, you always hate to lose, but that was one of those games where, like, I lost, but I'm okay with it just because I played well and my opponent played very well, and it, it literally just came down to... I mean, ultimately, it came down to my opponent going first and having that extra turn. That really was what it came down to, so... Frickin' GG, dude. That was one intense game, and I am cutting it off right there. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and this is Sticks signing out. Why not? See you guys.